Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe where we help and heal one day at a time. Um, I've talked a little bit about the brain damage that the narcissist has, the damage that's caused by us. Some of you, if you're thinking about getting back together with your ex or if you're staying in this relationship, um, I want to show you some actual PowerPoints that uh, will explain what's going on uh, to kind of help you decide, uh, should you stay uh, in this relationship? Um, you know, uh, they say either go no contact or do uh, minimal contact or try to have somebody else deal with your narcissist um, because uh, it, it is damaging your brain. And I do want to get into uh, my screen. Um, I'm not wearing my glasses right now, so I can't see it. There we go. So uh, this is um, uh, a picture of uh, if you've watched my other videos on brain damage, we talked about the amygdala. Um, and also the cerebral cortex. So right in here is where the empathetic portion is. So this is um, uh, neurotypical. Uh, you see a lot of brain activity going on in here um, by the bright colors. And right here, um, it's kind of suppressed. And uh, I had talked about the cerebral cortex uh, thin thinning to where the narcissist doesn't have uh, the, the portion of their brain uh, activated uh, correctly to process empathetic emotions it's also a thinner layer it's actual brain damage uh, so right here um, i'm going to put my glasses on right here you can see a healthy brain um, you can see like a lot of different uh, uh, colors that are showing um, the healthy activity that's going on but look right here this is from an abused brain um, now, what happened is this was from a Romanian orphan, and uh, a lot of times the, the brain damage happens uh, in, in the narcissist that we uh, end up in relationships with. It's usually uh, in their, their childhood, something went on. So what went on with this orphan is she was institu institutionalized uh, shortly after she was born, and this just shows uh, the effects of deprivation in infancy. Uh, so she wasn't, um, she had that failure to thrive. Um, we do need love. Uh, we need, um, you know, physical touch. We need, it, it's like an actual need that we have. Otherwise, uh, it messes with our brain, literally, physically messes with our brain. Um, and this is so sad, but the, uh, the temporal lobes, um, we have your temples here, uh, um, and that's uh, used to regulate emotions, and it also in receives input from the senses. Um, and some children suffer severe emotional and cognitive uh, problems because of this. So not only are they emotionally inept uh, or struggling, uh, they also have cognitive um, problems where they can't process things. So you can't process your emotions um and so this is just some other powerpoints that i found now bipolar is part of the cluster b and narcissism is also in that um, but um this is showing a bipolar brain but you can see uh if bipolar it should relate somewhat to narcissism to where uh there's overactivity going on here there's a lot going on there um for your normal brain compared to adhd but right here for PTSD, and this is what I really want you to pay attention to, is we can get um, PTSD, it's usually uh, CPTSD because it's prolonged. Uh, we didn't just um, go through uh, a, a terrible, uh, I don't know, murder or a family that happened one day. Um, but this is uh, PTSD, but I would assume, and I could be wrong, but it should be similar to a CPTSD. PTSD brain. So you got to um, just uh, uh, not as, as vibrant, not as active, but this is where it's important. Depression. Um, some of you are going through some depression and that's why it's really important that we try to snap out of the depression. Um, take the time to grieve. Uh, you have to do that. It's a release of emotions. I'll do a, a video on the different stages of grief um, to understand where you're at. Uh, but this is your normal brain and this is your depressed brain. Look at the, the light is, is um, like the healthy activity in your brain. Look at all the darkness. Like there's, there's some spots that just aren't even active. Um, it, it causes uh, memory loss or, or brain fog, um, heart 
hard to focus, hard to make plans. Um, so it really will affect your brain and it can cause actual brain damage. So try not to stay uh, really depressed over this. Uh, try not to stay in a depressing relationship. And these are just some different uh, um, illnesses. Like you got your normal brain and then this is bipolar, a lot of stuff going on inside there. PTSD, um, we got a lot of stuff going on too uh, compared to the normal brain up here. Uh, OCD, obsessive compulsive, uh, they got a lot going on. Uh, always thinking like, did I do this? Did I do this? Is this right? Um, you know, making sure they don't forget things and is everything okay? And looking around and noticing what's wrong and, you know, having to dust, uh, everything has to be perfect. So they're, they got a lot of activity. Um, here's the depression again, um, compared to the normal brain. Um, and and uh, th this is like the uh, uncomfortable stuff that's going on. So uh, the cognitive uh, things are slowed down, but um, also anxiety. Anxiety can cause brain damage. When you have an overload of all this stuff that's going on, um, it can cause actual brain damage. So right here, um, if you're depressed, um, it, it just suppresses your life um, because you can't function in the right way. And this is when you're not depressed. Um, so go out and find some light. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, sunlight uh, does help. You get the vitamin D. And, um, it's good to get out of the house, uh, not just to stay cooped up inside. So even if you're kind of going through your depressed mode, um, maybe even just sit on the back porch. Uh, right now it's winter, but hopefully where you live or in the summer, spring, uh, just even just sitting outside will make you feel a little bit better. Uh, take your showers, focus on yourself. Uh, Try not to just, um, you know, just kind of mope around because I do that a lot sometimes and I try to snap out of it. And um, there's times you, you kind of don't really want to do something because I started doing tap dancing. I love tap dancing, but certain times I'm like, like then I got to drive there. And but every time I forced myself to do it, uh, it was really worth it. So whatever it is that you like to do. Um, try to do it, whether you go to a craft fair or hang out with your friends or whatever you do, just really try to connect with people. But I just thought that was really interesting. Um, take note, uh, you know, it, will they change? Will they change? Um, this is their brain activity. This is their brain activity. And, um, you know, uh, there's missing pieces because that portion shrunk. So it's not something like um, you can just, you know, restart what's going on in here. That's that's just their chemistry. So I thought it was interesting. Um, please uh, like and subscribe and just keep healing. Um, this is why, you know, no contact is really important. Uh, they do talk about doing um, complete no contact where you block the people. Sometimes you can't do that. Um, but I also think that, uh, you know, we went through a lot of um, pain when we ghosted people, at least acknowledge the person, uh, even if it's just a text and tell them, you know, that uh, it's just not healthy, we can't talk anymore, instead of just, um, you know, going back at them. Uh, they're, they're already brain damaged. Uh, don't make excuses for them. Um, but in my eyes, uh, I, I don't want to lower who I am, even if I'm angry or whatever, to not cause any more brain damage. Uh, also, you know, um, I'm not going to change my character. Uh, I could change the situation. But anyways, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you'd like to learn about. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.